My name is Denise Wamaria. I'm an assistant lecturer at the University of Rwanda, College of Science and Technology, in the School of Science, Department of Mathematics. I'm also a PhD student at uh, Rinshomping University in Sweden in the Mathematical Statistical Division. My name is Emeline Munozaga Sana, and uh, I'm an, an assistant lecturer in uh, the Department of Mathematics. Uh, School of Science in the College of Science and Technology, the University of Rwanda, and uh, I'm currently pursuing the a PhD in uh, Mathematical Statistics at Littropping University in Sweden. Uh, my research is about uh, high-dimensional discriminant analysis, uh, so that is applying discriminant analysis into high-dimensional data. High-dimensional data address the data to which uh, you have way fewer observations than uh, the experimental variables. So in this case, discriminant analysis is just analysis you do uh, when you want to classify uh, or to define some rule that will distinguish different categories. You have a new subject you want to allocate in two or more different categories. So that's what this discriminant analysis is about. My research is about large deviation. And uh, large deviation is a theory which deals with uh, the probability of an unlikely event. Those events which happen with a small frequency. Those events, when they happen, they can cause huge effect to the society. For example, the earthquake, epidemic and pandemic disease. And also this large deviation theory can be applied in insurance company to determine amount of premium to be paid Discriminant analysis is widely applied. It already has been uh, applied for ages. So it can be ap applied anywhere. And uh, nowadays we are mostly dealing with high dim dimensional data. So it's a, it's a, let's say, I would say it's a good contribution to the society right now to use high, high dimensional data. Whenever you want to classify, whenever you want to have, to allocate individuals or subjects into different categories, you can always use uh, discriminant analysis. So it can be used anywhere by any researchers or any analyst, data analyst. So what I can say as a message for young ladies, if you really like mathematics, you can do it. I'm here, I have master's degree in mathematics, I'm doing a PhD in mathematics, and I'm also uh, teaching mathematics at the University of Rwanda. And uh, mathematics is not only for teaching, but also mathematics can be applied in many areas. For example, in bank, in civil aviation. And also to become a good engineer, you need also to know mathematics. So if you really like mathematics, you can do it, and then you can succeed in your future career. To the younger ones, uh, especially young ladies that would like to pursue mathematics or any science in general. So what I would say is uh, go for it. If you feel you are good at mathematics or any other science, if you feel that you like mathematics, you love it, then don't let anyone stop you. Don't let the mindset or the society stop you saying this is not for you. So it's for you. If you are good at it, then it's for you. Don't let anyone stop you. Just go for it. You love it. You are good at it, then go for it.